I have possibly found a player who could go on to become the next Robin Van Persie. Let's take a look at him in today's episode of the Player Review. Welcome from an topic. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am AVV and you are watching the best soccer manager YouTuber on the market. Today we will be beginning the player review series on the channel. We've done this a couple times before in SM22 and also we are back in SM19 also. But in this first episode, we will be reviewing the Dutch wonder kid Sanjay Hansen. We'll be looking at if he's worth it, if he's worth spending your money on and if he's good enough. With that said, let's begin. When starting your new career off, he will be 20 years of age, a striker very versatile in the front and he'll stand at 60 rating. That's good enough if you are a road to glory club, I would say, and he's not so bad at all. Within the first or second season, or possibly the third, you could also get him on loan. If you don't have enough money to purchase him, you could also include a loan to buy offer in that loan deal, which would make it possible to pick him up on a bargain price after that loan deal expires. Although being 60 rated, which is a solid rating, his attributes don't translate to that rating. None of them, except his aerial ability, are key attributes. All of them look very poor and he looks just like a really bad striker judging from the attributes. However, his potential and his growth speed would make up for that as his attributes will grow over time. Now that we are aware of what he looks like at the beginning of your save, let's take a look at his growth three years in the future. He has made a massive growth spot to 86 rating after hitting his peak this season. Now that is massive growth for a player who hasn't been my main striker. In fact, he hasn't even been my second or third or fourth, not even a fifth choice striker. It's only this season I've sold a couple players and he has become my number one striker. But with that growth while not playing is absolutely incredible in my opinion. In contrast to him at the beginning of the season, his attributes has grown massively. Unfortunately, it still doesn't translate to an 86 rated player in my opinion, in exception for his aerial ability, which has always been a good part of his game. His positioning and movement is also a big part of his game, which in my opinion makes him a great target man rather than a finisher. Now that we've seen his three year evolution, let's take a look at my final thoughts and what I overall think about him. At the beginning of this Aston Villa save, he was one of my first signings I made on loan. It was a loan to buy offer and instantly his growth per training was just incredible. And over the three core season, he has grown massively as you can see from the screenshots. Now what I really like about him is during those three years, he never had any complaints about not playing, no complaints regarding his contract or anything like that and I absolutely love it. And although he hit his peak at only 86 rating, I honestly believe if I had played him way more, he would have possibly surpassed 90. So my overall review on him is he's an amazing player, a great talent, perfect for your road to glory team to grow with and to become a starting striker for your club for many years. I believe that everyone should get him. He grows quite often in saves from what I've seen. If you are very unlucky, then that's tough. But from the saves I've seen from other people on Discord, he's grown quite a lot. So I believe he is the perfect underrated striker to sign for cheap and to go on to be a bargain, possibly if you want to sell him for more in the future. So let me know in the comments guys if you have used him and how he is in your current save. But this is all from now, take care and peace out.